so this is the street I live on. I'm heading out to the Pike Place Market today. And that's uh, the entrance or the gateway to the city. And I'm just going to head down. I'm already on Pike, so it'll just be a short trip. And we're through the gate. And in the city. And uh, we just need to head down the block. Uh, a few more blocks and we're there. And it was a short nine block walk. But uh, let's go inside and take a look. All right, so you can find just about everything here at the market. Um, this is a spice and tea shop that I enjoy going to once in a while. And uh, right next to it here uh, is locally, uh, locally farmed uh, meats. So you can get everything from uh, baked goods. Uh, we've got a wine liquor store back there. And uh, of course uh, art and arts and crafts. And of course there's a lot of fresh produce and uh, restaurants as well. Elephant garlic. Look at the size of this. Look at the size of that garlic. And here we have Julie's Famous Sausage Company. Uh, no preservatives, all natural. Like I said, uh, most of this stuff is organic, free range, locally grown. Uh, the uh, populace here in Seattle pretty much demands that. Uh, some incredible, beautiful uh, seafood here. I'm, I'm not really big on seafood, but oh my goodness, look at those scallops. And look at the lobster tails. Ooh, and crab. Alaskan king crab. Incredible. And more restaurants. There's a Greek restaurant, uh, Athenian seafood, and of course, lots and lots of produce. And, uh, they don't call it the farmer's market for nothing. So this is kind of cool. We've got uh, all kinds of homemade pastas and uh, they look absolutely wonderful. One of the things I really like about the market is that there are so many samples. You can sample all kinds of vinegars and oils. And this is a, at the pasta place and uh, here's, a, here's a more selection, an incredible selection. Um, wow. Lemon pepper linguine and uh, sun dried tomato, fettuccine, uh, there's orzo. Ooh, lime cilantro linguine. Oh wow, dark chocolate linguine. That's that's interesting. That's really interesting. I'm curious to know what kind of a sauce I'd put on that. Oh look at that. Porcini mushroom linguine. I, I bet that's really good. Now, those of you who know me know that I shop price, and in the market, um, prices can be a little high, you know, kind of touristy, but this particular spot called uh, Socios uh, Fruit and Produce has some of the best prices uh, in the market, based upon my, my own experience. Um, if you're shopping price, this is the place to go. This place is called uh, Chukar Cherries. And uh, they have everything, uh, dried cherries, uh, preserved cherries, you know, jarred, um, candy, candy coated cherries, chocolate covered cherries, uh, it just goes on and on and on. And uh, pretty, pretty fantastic stuff. Or anything in particular? YouTube, my YouTube channel. Okay. Okay, so right now I'm trying a dark chocolate uh, Cabernet Cherry. And uh, I have a feeling this is going to be like an antidepressant for me. <laughs> 
that's a good call, actually. Mm. Uh, oh, so yummy. It's a Washington grown uh, Montmorency tart cherry. It dried naturally with no uh, chemicals or preservatives. Mm -hmm. And it's dipped in gourmet chocolates into which we have some uh, stirred some Cabernet wine essence. So oh. it's got uh, some subtle hints of uh, wine flavor that really pop out when you pair it with a dry red like a Cabernet Sauvignon. Fantastic. That's our best seller right there. Have you got a small box? Oh, we've got the, the little bags right here, the pouches. Uh, that's the best way to get them. Okay, and where where's the one I just tried? This one right here. From how much is this? Uh, Nine fifty. I'll take a bag. All right. And here's the boarding orchards, and uh, looks like they make some some fantastic uh, preserves, jellies, jams. Um, you know, uh, there's wild gooseberry, uh, cranberry, thyme raspberry pepper and uh, you know this is it just sort of goes on like that and it looks like they also do some wonderful pickles asparagus green beans uh, dill cucumber etc I, I do a lot of my own pickling but uh, this stuff looks like it's pretty good it's very creative stuff and some fantastic uh, time pieces here in uh, and boxes in uh, uh, driftwood or uh, burl wood. All right, one of my favorite spots. What do we, what do we got here? Uh, hazelnuts and uh, chocolate covered cherries. And again, they've got samples of everything in the market, which is kind of cool. And here we have Moon Valley. Uh, bees and botanicals and this is uh, pure raw organic honey products and they have uh, gift, gift packaging and the like looks like they have a pretty good assortment of uh, honeys here very nice gift sets lotion bars honey soaps and medicinal salves and here is uh, Beecher's cheese. They manufacture it right here on the spot, and uh, you can watch them uh, during the process and then step in and buy some if you like. And they have quite a assortment. Uh, it's good stuff, I've had it before. And uh, it's actually something you don't need to make a trip all the way down here for. Uh, you can find it in the local grocery stores. It's a local favorite. With people walking above, under the boardwalk, yeah, when you fall in love, under the boardwalk, boardwalk. Beautiful day. So, I was going to buy a few other things, but um, they were actually out. <laughs> Some of the stuff I wanted today, so I'm going to head down and say hi to my friend David. And uh, let's see if he'll let me film him and if he'll ham it up for us. Let's try it. Alright, so let's, uh, I'll go ahead and head down this way. David is in, here in the market. He's downstairs. He owns a, a bookstore, a used bookstore. And uh, he's a fun guy. Let me see if I can get, a, get him to ham it up for us. Okay, so we're heading down under. Uh, there's several levels to this market. Uh, a couple more to go, but uh, let's go see, say hello to David. <laughs> there he is. He's very nervous. Business must be bad, and he spotted me. Here we go. Here we go. Almost got you. You won't you help a poor tourist with a camera? <laughs> All right, so David, the phone rang. David had to get his phone. So here's some of the cool stuff in this shop. Uh, there's some some old books. Uh, there are some interesting curios. Some old calendars, some old rock and roll calendars from England, and. Uh, 
he sells pretty well here. He does pretty well with this stuff. No, I have to pay with you. The reason the reason I like to come here is because he's got okay. some old art books out that are out of print. So uh, so anyway, I've already taken all the good ones from him. They're right here on this shelf. And I'll have to check and see if there's anything new here. All right, I'm exhausted. Uh, I'm heading home. Thanks for joining me and uh, I'll see you next time.